An American student detained in North Korea since 2016 has been released and arrived in the U.S. in a comatose state, accused of a crime he claims he did not commit. Otto Warmbier was imprisoned and sentenced to more than a decade of hard labor. Yu Shin has the latest. After being detained in North Korea for almost a year and a half, an American student has finally been released, but only to reunite with his family in a state of coma. U.S. Secretary of State Rex Tillerson revealed on Tuesday that the regime had freed 22-year-old Otto Warmbier, who has now arrived back in the United States. That at the president's direction, the Department of State has secured the release of Otto Warmbier from North Korea. The release came after Joseph Yun, the U.S. State Department's special envoy to Pyongyang, had traveled to North Korea to demand his release on humanitarian grounds. According to the Washington Post, North Korean officials say Warmbier contracted botulism sometime after his trial in March of last year and lapsed into a coma after taking a sleeping pill. But the New York Times reported that a senior U.S. official said Washington obtained reports in recent weeks indicating Warmbier had been beaten while in North Korean custody. The University of Virginia student was arrested in January 2016 during a trip to the North for allegedly stealing a political propaganda sign from a hotel and he had been sentenced to 15 years of hard labor. Warmbier's release reduces the number of Americans held in the North to three, Kim Ak-sung, Kim Sang-duk, and Kim dong chul We continue our discussions with the North Korean regime uh, regarding the release of the three other American citizens that have been detained. Warmbier's release came on the same day the former NBA star Dennis Rodman arrived in the North. Rodman is known to have a close friendship with North Korean leader Kim Jong-un, However, it remains to be seen whether his visit is related to the Americans who are still detained in North Korea. Yin Shin, Arirang News.